welcome back to more Let's Play Magi Nation! Last time we ventured around the world to do some more stuff with the Ultimate Dream Creature, but now that's done, we're back in the road. And, uh, I'd say we're ready to take on the next Shadow Geyser. I did a bit of grinding, and I also have a new addition to the team. So, here's Farrakh, Farrakh 2, here's Kelthet. And here's my new addition, Deep Iron. This dude is a beast, to say the least. Uh, you can find the Deep Iron as well as a Coral Iron, if you're interested. Uh, behind, in the lake behind the, the Seer's, the Seer's cabin, all the way in Bashnarum. Bashnarum. There was gonna be a small little place where you can just kind of, where there's, you just kind of get sucked into. And then the dream creatures you encounter there include Deep Hyrin and Coral Hyrin, but beware because the dream creatures there are very strong, and the Hyrins especially are insanely powerful. It takes a lot to take one down, so that's what I've been up to. Now the, uh, I've basically kind of explored this place, and it, it, it's just like a training ground, really. Um, what I did also explore, I explored this place, kind of. Uh, not so much a training ground, because I was getting very little experience, despite getting completely destroyed in that place, but, uh, yeah. It was one of the various areas in, in the road. Uh, let's see here, if you go in here, oh gosh, or is it in the other place? One of the two tunnels, you will like encounter a whole bunch of treasure and whatnot, so that's the thing. Anyways, we got Shadow Guys to take on right now, so uh, let's be doing that. People, the people of Aroth are counting on us to kind of take down the Shadow Geyser. Because Shadow Geyser is causing a lot of, like, severe torrents and really messing with the water. And considering they live in the water, that's not very good. So, we just gotta find... We just gotta find the thing. Gotta find a thing. Uh, oh dear. Interesting. I don't know where the thing is. Well. Ah, here we go. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Well, that's a thing. Okay, back to Ocean Mar. Because we gotta ask the historian. What's up with force fields? Because, hey, actual defense in the Shadow Geyser. This is... According to our glyph, this is the last Shadow Geyser. So, the Shadow Magi really want to keep that thing up. And not have me running around destroying it. Because, to them... That's no good. So, props to them for actually, uh... Props to them for actually, like, you know, doing, doing stuff and having defenses.
Okay, so let's go to the ruins. And see what we can find. Now... Oh boy. That means I have to now actually explore this place. I was kind of using this place as a uh, training ground. And now we actually have to do something with this. Oh boy. There's... There's a lot of dead ends in this place. And, uh, it's just more hassle, really. I'm gonna find a thing. Hello. That's not exactly what I was wanting. No. Da 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 da. Oh man. Nope. Nothing over there. Okay. Swimming underwater. Man, this music is like depressing. Granted, we are in an underwater... Hello? We are in an underwater, like, ruin, so... That's a thing. Can't exactly be all happy. With underwater ruins. You know what I'm saying? Okay, nothing... Ooh. I see treasure. I see treasure! Let me have treasure. I need treasure. Water of life. Tangle. There we go. Speaking of, uh... Water of life. I actually know what those things do. Um... Oh, water of life! It increases your your max energy by five. So yay! That's kind of how I have so much energy right now because I've just been I've been using those things, and it's been great. But we got a thing, so I'm gonna explore just a tad bit more. Uh, I don't think I'll be finding anything, so I think we're done here. We can head back. We got a thing that the dude can use to enchant a thing. Probably. So let's go. At least you guys get to see how Tony swims underwater. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever shown Tony actually swimming underwater aside from like a small bit of going to Ocean Mar. But here we go! We're swimming! And it's pretty cool. I remember, like, back when I was a kid, and I walked, looked at the box, and... Back in the box, and, like, I saw, like, a screenshot of, like, Tony swimming underwater. And I'm like, man, I cannot wait until I get to that point in the game. And then I did, and it was freaking awesome. Okay. Back to the dude. Yes, I do, actually. Um, item. Do Blurry. Interesting. Is this thing really that powerful? I mean, what's the deal? Mobis told us to, like, once we're done with the Shadow Geyser, to just get out of this world. Uh, right, no, that would be in Spell, I guess? Spell X. Mobis told us to, uh, he really wants us out, doesn't he? Uh, 
Oh yeah, Orlon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, Morb has told us to get out of this world as soon as we can. This dude is telling us to get out right now. Now we're all alone. Oh boy, things are not looking so grand. But we have... We have what is apparently strong enough to get rid of that barrier. So let's do that. Let's get the final core stone, and then let's follow everyone's advice and get out of this world. It seems that just our mere presence in this world is bad. Just being here is what causes it is what causes it to be in danger, it seems. So let's get this out of the way. Whoa, it worked. Alright. Adventure forth. Um, oh dear. Okay, ah. So we got sucked down here. Oh, this is. This is reminding me of the good old days back in Vashna Room. I don't know why I call it like that. Vashna Room, yeah. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna run. I don't I don't even have a bed to rest in if if things go south, so I'm gonna conserve as much energy as I can. of the shadow. It seems like she's the guardian of this of this shadow geyser. She brings up an interesting point. She says that our friends and family are worried. Well, are they really? We have no idea how much time has been passing in, the, in our world. I mean, time in this world may act very differently compared to time in our world. We may be gone for days here, but... Over there, we could only be gone for, like, minutes. Plus, we don't really have any friends, considering Tony is the new kid on the block, and the three people he's trying to impress are complete jerks. So, yeah. We really don't have a whole lot going on in our world, do we? I mean, in fact, we have more going for us in this world than anything else. I mean, we have friends, we, got, we know people, and, like... Yeah. 
Yeah. That's all I gotta say, man. Okay. What do we got over here? I mean, we have been fighting for this world. Uh-oh. 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 I mean, thankfully I could tank it, but... I mean, we've been fighting for this world for a while now. We... I care about these people. I don't know what Warda is talking about, but... I freaking I care about these people. We... We're the freaking great mages Kairos. Oh, goody. Uh, that's not... Way. I mean, we're the frick great the, the, the freaking great mages Kairos, yo. Like, ah, there we go. Uh, let's move on. Like these people depend on us. We we are their great hero, and um, yeah, oh boy. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start fighting. So, yeah, I mean, it's also really interesting just to think about what Tony thinks about all this. I mean, yes, he got sucked into this world and having to deal with the world's problems, but... Freaking, he's been here for a, a while now. He's come to know a lot of people, and oh dear. Drown. I guess this is also my test to see if I'm underleveled or something. I, I shouldn't be? Well, I'm underleveled for a very different reason, let me tell you that much. It's not- I, I should not have any troubles fighting Warda. Let's put it that way. However, I still have a bumpy road ahead, let's say that much. I probably should have taken some time to further level myself to prepare for what's going to happen, but... Let's see, two of you... Yeah, I'm just one-shotting these things. Um, yeah, I'm one-shotting these things. They, they are, though. Some. Uh, let's see what is down here. It's a dead end. Okay. Oh, well, since I'm just one-shotting all these things, let's get some energy back. Am I just one-shotting them and getting the energy from one-shotting them? And, yeah. Use bite. But that has no L. Kind of hurts. Yay, I win. Okay. Ah, well, I'm kind of getting some experience, so there's that. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Anything along the lines of this? Ooh, Rune of Power. Alright, let's jump. Okay, okay. Ooh. Blue sap. Blue leaf. Oh man. Since I'm like never gonna actually use a blue leaf in in uh in battle because of how little it heals. Alright. So that's out of the way. There's also one thing that Warda said that really strikes my interest about whether we should take her up on her offer. She said she will give us the core stone under the condition that we stay out of the Shadow Magi ways. That... Uh, something about that is really rubbing me the wrong way. To stay out of the way... This is the final Shadow Geyser though! What, what way is there to stand if this thing goes down? Unless they have more Shadow Geysers planned, in which case... 
can we really go home? I mean, if we leave, what is going to honestly happen to this world? Like, let me see what's actually over here. This is that it. Okay. I mean, if we leave, and the Shadow Geysers keep popping up, who is going to take them on? We're the only ones with the Korg lift. We are the only ones who can go into the Shadow Geysers and stop it. And they just simply want us out of the way? Well, what? I... I don't know, man. Something about this deal is seeing really fishy. is now more of a beast. Yay! Okay. Uh, get lost. And moving on. That's a dead end. But, yeah, I'm... I don't know, man. I don't know. I may as well bring out Kelpet. Uh, I'm also going to bring out Deep Hyron, just to show him off, because Deep Hyron is a beast, to say the least. Okay, good, Kithud can one-shot, and a lot faster than Farrakh. Okay, I think I'm going to use Kelpet for some of these fights, just so that my boy Kelpet can uh, get some experience, and also I can just get earn some energy back faster, even though I'm going to level up soon and get all my energy back regardless, so yay! Alright, let's see what's over here, um, I don't know, let's jump over here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Whoa. Okay, that was the wrong area. So, let's go with, uh, place number two. Ooh, uh. Okay, 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 we, we have, we have options we can explore. Um, let's see what's down here, probably a dead end. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. No, we're not. It's like, it's, it's just a fancy dead end. Oh, game, why do you tease me so? Alright, Keltat, let's go. I may as well just bring out Deep Pyrant just so that he can get also some experience. Because Deep Pyrant is awesome. You can never get enough Deep Pyrant. And I also just have some reinforcements. And down you go. Wonderfish, I win. 